All right, dude, I wonder what we got in the mail. Wait, Tim Stamper. Did, did he read our emails? Probably. Well, heck, let's stick this thing inside. Whoa. It's kind of loose in there. Just like my ex-girlfriend. All right, so we got this thing from, I'm assuming Tim Stamper from Rare, uh, sent to me. And, and me. And, and, and Jacob, of course. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's, it's for both of us. And uh, we're going to go ahead, take an unboxing, and uh, hopefully this video will be longer than two minutes. And it won't be just something stupid like a banjo, kazooie, nuts and bolts plushie or something. I don't know. Alright, so. Great cutting. Huh? Great cutting. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Come in here. Mm -hmm. Is it from where? Wait. What? I don't know why they said this. But okay, that's kind of weird. I'm just gonna keep that to the side. Whatever. Why? All right, so there's a letter. Let's read that first. Oh, it's kind of dirty. All right, <clears throat> from Rare. Uh, dear Chris and Jacob, we have seen you have taken interest in the Project Dream development cartridge. A little bit too much interest. We've gotten all 94 emails. Hey, remember that? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> involving your requests for a ROM dump, and we would like to remind you that we only contact by mail or carrier mail. Please remember this for future reference. Uh, back to the ROM dump. We have gotten word that you have the ROM dumping software, hardware necessary, I guess, for the computer, mm -hmm. uh, for dumping a ROM. And we are willing to give $1,600 for a ROM dump. Please do not release the ROM and mail it back to us in USB form by carrier mail. Thank you. Also, we are aware you two love making videos, you know, they're right? <laughs> All these types of things. Though I'm pretty sure your passwords were fake. Very entertaining, though. Mm. Yeah, um, Any comment? Um, screw you, Ray. Okay. Well, it's Tim Stamper. Well, I don't care. Uh, please feel free on making the video on the cart. Do whatever you like. Just be sure not to show this letter in said video. Um, Whatever. Oh well. Yeah, oh well. Whatever. We hope you enjoy playing the game for the short time you have. Please be sure to mail it back by June 14th, 2016. Wait. It's like... It's not even 2016 anymore. Oh, oopsie. Uh, <laughs> we got a... Uh... Now we check our mail daily, don't we? Yeah, yeah. So that's not us. That's, that's not our that's fault. That's USPS, whatever. Yeah, they're in, I think they're in Europe. What? Yeah, rare, rare. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Anyways, uh, ship it to, uh, uh, what does it say? Dallas. Oh, I see Burlington? it. I see, I see it. Yeah, Dallas, Burlington, oh. Britain. Well, let me see if they can see it. Can you guys see that? It's kind of. Yeah, they must have. Yeah. Uh, if not shipped by this time, we will have to take the cash reward away. Thank you. Oh. So, let's forget about the $1,600. Well, right? I need that. For what? For the freaking Switch, boy. Dude, I already pre ordered it, brother. I, I, I know Whoa! That. Oh, unboxing soon! Oh! Sorry. <laughs> well, I, I paid half for it, too. I'm just saying, like, we can get some more games. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, I'll frame that. Sometime soon, we'll frame that. Now let's take a look what's actually okay, inside okay. the box, other than the letter. What's this? So I'm assuming this is the. Oh, there's no name on it. I'm assuming this is the ROM dumping software. I guess their computers weren't good enough. 
but they gave us oh the thing. God. I guess I don't know. Well, you know their games suck, so they probably made it with a <laughs> yeah, freaking mm. horrible computer. All right, we're gonna set that to the side. Um, what else is in here? Two other things. We got this thing. And this. All right. So. so oh, hey. What's that? I also see a GBA yeah, card. Yeah. Alright, let's unbox this actually. So let's okay. go ahead and get into it. Um I wanna be careful with this. So Oh god. There we go. Feist. <laughs> yeah! Ugh. I like to use my hands. Oh, don't. Yeah, I should have cut, cut. Cut. cut towards my zone. Cut away. Yeah, cut away. Cut away, away kids. kids. Yeah, remember that. All right. You don't want to kill yourself. Unless you want to just cut towards yourself. You so, want. oh, okay. There we go. All right, so uh, oh, wow. you guys may have seen this on Tim Stamper's Twitter and such. Uh, this is the cartridge that they use to, I guess, the, it's just a development cartridge. Hmm. It's pretty cool. I hope yeah. that battery's not dead by now. Because yeah. that may mess mm. things up. Uh, he also sent us a, I suppose, a floppy disk. Uh, sound samples, music tracker. I'll be sh disk number eighty-seven. I'll be sure to uh, dump this. I have a, I don't have one here, but I do have floppy disk drives at my school, so I'll be sure to dump that later. Also, they sent us Diddy Kong Pilot. Pretty positive this game is unreleased. I may have to do a fact check on that, but I will put an annotation or something on the editing editing on the video that if it is unreleased, then uh, yeah, we'll we may do a video on this soon. And also the I don't know why this was here. I guess they oh yeah, we did that Zelda or Zelda prototype thing that was fake at the point at that point. They may have oh. thought they may have been like, hey, we'll give you. A, you Give you an N64 DD to play on that Sega Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm assuming they gave us this drill bit uh, to be able to open up the cartridge because it does fit the screws, and that may be because it may not fit on the ROM dumping software or hardware over here. So we're gonna go ahead and unscrew this, and uh, we're gonna be dumping the ROM to the USB. So oh shoot, uh, I'm just I'm getting footage of this, you know, just. I'm trying to document everything. Since, you know, I love making documentaries on these type of things. Any documentaries. So. Let's see. Um, Land of Giants. Well, yeah, that was the. Uh, Land of Giants was the, uh, the I guess, the subtitle to the uh, the game. I guess it's so. I don't know why they have this in here. What's that say? Tim is such a spunk trumpet, I bet his wife made him into a jizz mongler. And there you, there's a rocket ship for a dog face. I don't know. Penis. Okay. Jacob? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I, that, I don't know if this was a note they passed around. Uh, or they put it in here before they shipped it to me just for a joke? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so... Anyways, um... So here's the cartridge itself. The development cartridge. Uh, we got some stickers right here. Dream 0.07... B? B A B B? Yeah. Land of Giants. ROM A... Or 2 A and ROM 1 A. Okay. Which I believe one is for sprites and one's for the actual uh, yeah. program. Also, let's take a look at the actual shell. Uh, this is really rough. <laughs> you would think, you know, game companies, but I mean, this was in house. The, the, you know, they were passing this around the, mm -hmm. the office and stuff. It looks like they just kind of soldered it open uh, just for ease of use, I guess. I don't, I don't know. But uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and take the. A circuit here. Hopefully this can goes in right. And I uh, guess we do it this way. Slide that in. 
Hoping I use this right. Summus. So Ooh, I gotta plug this in there. Ah, there we go. Um, I have no idea why they're making us do this. It's kind of stupid. But let's go ahead and just turn it on. Yep. So we're gonna let that sit for a while. I'm gonna kind of keep that. Ow! Shoot! Oh wow. You okay? Uh, it's fine. Mm. The data is going inside your body. Yeah. Also, I believe this is for uh, dumping like uh, add-ons to the Super Nintendo. Mm -hmm. You would dump the BIOS from those from this thing. Uh, I, I suppose. I think. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we're gonna kind of. <sighs> you know those like shock pins? Yeah, that was, that was like. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna let that. I'm trying to figure out how to pick this thing up without. Okay, we're gonna let that sit. And while we're dumping that wrong, we're gonna let Jacob uh, and me go ahead and give you guys a quick history on the development of this game. You want a lot? Oh, sorry, I was being a bartender today. First, we have to get the history down for Project Dream. First, it started as like a little game for that yes from a uh, rare, and the, they made a main character named Edison. It's a FLC. Jacob, stop. <laughs> This game was developed after Donkey Kong Country, just to let you know. Okay, the story is Edison leaves his hometown to fight pirates and trolls. He has friends that came with him uh, named Cockeye the Pirate and... Uh, oh no, the ducks. Oh god. And that's how they got the idea for Kazooie. He, he has friends that joined his journey, and they're named Kaka the Pirate and Ding uh, Dinger the Dog, which done nothing. He just followed you. He you could have just killed it to put it down, you know. But you know, you can't do that. Is that more? That's how they got the idea for Dinger. As for his enemies, though, who? It's Black Eye the Pirate, who wants to get a floaty to make his pirate ship fly. That's the way they got the idea for floaty. And he also had a dog named Strat, which also done nothing. He should have took him down. The game started development on the Super Nintendo, and then went to N64. And then uh, they they didn't like it for some reason. They're like, "Boy, we don't. Who likes pirates and a dog and a pirate one getting floaty? That's bullcrap. No one wants that. So we want bears and birdies." Now Tim, though, who, oh, who? Oh. He's a little weird. Uh, thank you, Jacob, for that quick uh, history lesson. Uh, some very interesting notes on that. Uh, I don't know where you got some of those, but I really appreciate it. Thank you. Anyway, so the the uh, ROM should be dumped by now. The reason we dumped the ROM before we played the game is because there can't be some random thing on the cartridge where you press a single button and it erases the entire ROM. These ROMs are easily erasable and writable. We don't want to risk damaging uh, this precious cartridge, so we decided to dump the ROM before we play the game. And hopefully, it actually does play. Uh, we've seen footage of it, so we're assuming it does play. Um, but <laughs> if we dump the ROM and it's it's already messed up, or um, or something crazy like it won't work on an emulator, it only works on actual hardware, then that would suck. But uh, we will be releasing the ROM. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, give out this ROM. I have it on the USB now. It's done. Uh, uh, dumping uh, at this moment so we're gonna keep this over here and for now we will be playing this game on real hardware so uh, let's get it back into the cartridge hopefully the s oh, ah that hurt <laughs> hopefully the solder does not mess up you know, the 
cartridge itself holding it that actually goes into the system. Alright, so let's just take one quick last look. Jacob went ahead and took off the tripod if that's uh if you guys were curious why the camera is being acting differently or moving differently. Um, so here's a quick last look at the cartridge itself. Here's the back of it. Pretty simple stuff. And yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back into the shell. And should we put this back in? What yeah. do you think? Yeah, yeah. 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 Historical sake. And screw it back in. Here we go. Now, Jacob, do you know much about this game? No. no. Well, well, I know a little history, but. A little history? Just a little bit. Are you interested in it at all? A little bit, yeah, yeah. Seems uh, pretty neat. Nice. Okay, so come on over here. Oh well, yeah. forgot. Camera's got to charge. That sucks, doesn't it? On the spot. So we're gonna uh, dump this whenever I get to uh, my school. We're gonna put it on the USB right there. We're gonna go ahead and put it on that one and then dump everything at the same time. Uh, but for now, uh, since we, it's uh, I think it's what what, what day is it? The weekend? Um, Sunday. I don't know. So it'll be tomorrow. So at this point, uh, this is completely useless to us. So! Dude, um... Don't worry about it. It's just a floppy disk. There's nothing special on it. You, you just... Shush! What? Get... What? I don't <laughs> care, dude. It's a... You Whatever. messed up the ceiling. What? I don't care. You messed up the freaking ceiling. Listen, hey. This is my video, okay? <laughs> We're gonna pay for the ceiling tile. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> sorry. All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, plug this cartridge into our system, which I believe is getting a good feel in there if it's feel right. Yes, this is not region locked. So if it, for some odd reason, it's not. But if it was for some odd reason, the Japanese version, uh, we wouldn't be able to, to do this. Anyway, so, all right. Scan. We'll probably edit it until it comes on. Or we can leave it on. It doesn't really matter. It should be coming on like half a second or something like that. Oh, here we are. Uh, so I guess this is the intro. I mean, it is. It says Dreamland of Giants 0.0b, which was the cartridge we had. Yeah. Uh, realism introduction. So I guess this might have been a tech demo of sorts for the. I guess. Now this is Project Dream, so it, it is the game we, we've somewhat seen. Mm -hmm. But uh, I suppose this was just. I'm trying to skip it. It's not skipping. Okay. We'll just let it. We'll let it happen. It's actually pretty catchy, actually. Yeah, yeah Jake. Yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, actually, no, okay. This looks a lot like, uh, think about it, uh, Super FX, which, when I checked, there was no Super FX chip in the cartridge. So, this may have been a tech demo for their Realism engine, just running on regular hardware, possibly. Um, but that's just my uh, speculation. Let's get some catches that tech music. You guys will love this whenever we give out the ROM. Hopefully if it works. I think it will work though. Yeah, I think it will. Yeah, we should, we'll, we'll test it afterwards. After we release the video and everything. Seems it's coming to a close, I believe. Oh! Oh wow. Hey! Land, dream Land of Giants. So... Good so here's the debug load. We got Fungus Forest, uh, we got Toxic Swamp, we got the Troll Ruins, and we got Jurassic Jungle. And so we're going to start out at Troll Ruins, and uh, we're going to see what happens there. Oh shoot. Okay, so here we go. 
We're uh, we're going through the troll ruins. Pretty cool. Shoot it. Crap. Crashed. All right, we're back in, and uh, we're gonna be trying to go throughout this level and. Oh. This is the buggy game, man. All right, so we're gonna try a different level. Uh, go ahead and do toxic swap next. See if we have any better luck here. And uh, oh, oh, you forgot to explain the troll enemies, Jacob. Can you do give a give a quick synopsis on them while we go through this? They're level? uh, they're trolls with swords, and uh, yeah. they ignore you sometimes. But if you like, yeah, stay, uh, if you stay there, they're not moving at all on this yeah. uh, build. Also, I'm noticing there's no music or sound effects. It's quite yeah, nervous. it's a little weird, but uh, if you say on them, it's an early demo or yeah. a build of the game. The yeah, final the build is uh. Well, here's the end of the level, by the way. Yeah. And it crashed again. Great. All right, so we're gonna do the fungus forest here, and uh, this level, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I think he's an enemy. We're gonna go ahead and uh, kill this guy here. <clears throat> Takes a while. Ah! Oh, uh, Come it, man! What the crap? Stupid All right, so we found another enemy, and we got Dinger here. He doesn't really do anything, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to get this enemy too, and uh, see if we have any luck. Hopefully, it won't crash on us again like it did earlier, because I really bugged me. But I can't get it. <laughs> Gosh, really, dude? Seriously? All right, we're we're having really bad trouble uh, doing these levels, so we're gonna do Jurassic Jungle last and see how we do here. So we found another enemy. Again, I hate these trolls. They're like internet trolls; they they, they never stop bothering you. Yeah. You can never beat them. You know. It's taking a little while. Yeah, it takes forever. I really, this is what's starting to really bug me actually. Now that you know. Oh, he, we got him, we got him. Oh, God, dude. Alright, so we uh, got past the stupid troll. Turns out you can just walk right past him. Oh, um, so, yeah, we're, we're running through here. Another endless level, I assume. Um, which seems to be the case for a lot of these levels, actually. Really? We got killed by a dinosaur. Hold on one minute. You know what, Rare? You know what? You made my childhood. You know, with Goldeneye, with with Banjo Kazooie, Battletoads. I bought a Battletoads record, right? Yeah. I bought those yeah. games. Yeah. But you know what you did recently? You think you've taken Banjo Kazooie? You messed it up. Oh no. You messed it up. Oh my you God. took Conquer. You made you made Young Conqueror, you put him in Project Spark, which by the way is done with now. Yeah. You messed everything up. So you know what? We're not we're not gonna release. We're not gonna get we're not gonna give you guys this wrong. Right, Jacob? Yeah, what we're we're, we're, we're not we're not. We're no one should do. What? We, we should just give the dump to everyone else to in the world except we're giving them. it we're giving it to yeah. you guys. We're not giving it back to rare. You know what we're gonna do with this rare? This little precious cartridge in the trash. Oh! I'm out. Uh, I'm done. Yeah, that, that's actually a good idea. Screw you, Tim Stamper. Whatever, bro. I don't care about it. 